questions for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to start by asking, because there was a conversation on Shanice page uh, when you guys were on live on there, and um, you guys were talking about with another girl, and we're talking about meal preps. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like I I saw on Shanice page how she mm-hmm. you posted like once about like how you serve your man and like yes. it looked like food like diverse food that you cooked yourself or was mm-hmm. it more like um like the meal plan meal prep that you put on the plate and then just give it to him? That is a good question. I cook as much as I can. I love to cook. Now, I don't always have the time to cook. I don't always have the time to go to the grocery store, and that's just about it. So um, we eat meal prep when we can, especially considering, like, we value our time. But if I if I have time to cook, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, great. I get that. Because, like, he was saying how – um, sorry, I don't know his name, sorry. but, like – yeah, so basically saying how, like, um, you know, no dishes, just meal prep, easy, fast, and quick. Um, And I was also thinking, like, um, the amount of money that you spend on meal prep, like, is it mm-hmm. as much as, or, like, less, I would say, than, like, grocery shopping and, like, cooking on your own? Or is it... Uh, did I... Ex- did you see my example of how... Okay, how about this? How much you make an hour? Well, I don't... My question was just like, I just want to know, like, if, because you I'm were explaining. To, I'm trying to answer your question. But you got I get right. that, but I just don't want to disclose, like, my personal information on here. I just wanted to. Right, let's, say you make it, let's say you make 50 bucks an hour. Okay. Keep it simple. Let's say 100. Okay. How, 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 long do you, how long do you spend at the grocery store each week? Well, I don't actually, I don't um, grocery shop or, like, cook that much it was just mostly like because I just wanted to know like a hearing like because I I know like a lot of like meal prepping and like um oh, like, so how, like, how long do you spend at the grocery store each month or each week well I don't but if I would I would yeah. probably say like an hour and a half or all right so why don't you why don't you go grocery shopping you, somebody else do it for you in your household yeah you? yeah um um, so you live with your parents? Correct. So how, how long do they take to go grocery shopping? About an hour, an hour and 30. All right. So let, they're making a hundred and hour. Let's just say an hour a week, that's four hours a month. How long do they take to cook it? Mm, probably an hour and a half, two hours, depending on like. Is that, my- is that a day or is that a week? Um... Probably four hours a week. All right, so now we at um, 16 hours. 16 plus four is 20. How long does it take to clean up? We won't even put the clean up, but that's 20 hours. That's 20 times 100 is what? But that's, like, the thing is, like, I'm hold not... On, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's 20 times 100? That's 20, 100. Which is 2,000. So, mm-hmm. with that being said... Um, Meal prep is cheaper than two thousand dollars. Okay. Well, that I just because you haven't even factored in the price of groceries. By the way, that two thousand dollars doesn't even include the money you spent on groceries. No, I, I get that. I just wanted to know. Basically, it just was because of of the Shanice post. Because like the way you said, like no dishes, no this, no that, and then there's Shanice post who's like contradicting what you were saying. So I was yeah. just wanted to know. So the ma- Shanice is not here all the time. So the majority of my food comes from meal prep. Because I got to eat when she's gone. But when she's back, she likes to cook dinner. She likes to cook with her home cooked meals, which I appreciate. Give me a spoon. So she likes to cook. Hey. Home cooked meals. Okay. And um, even like... if I go to a restaurant, she would come home and be like, you're hungry, baby? Let me cook you something. <laughs> we could go to the finest steakhouse in the land, and we could go home. And she'd be like, you're hungry, baby? Let me cook you something. And I'm like, well, dang. Because I can make you something better. I just so <laughs> she just likes to spoil me in that sense. Okay, no problem. Um, my other question was that you said multiple times that you wanted multiple wives, and recently you were talking with another girl saying that uh, it would you would prefer it to be in the same house. Um, my question was so since you have a relationship like a personal relationship with Shanice and Olivia, uh, and you will have a personal relationship with the other woman, like. <laughs> 
is it allowed for them to build a relationship between them? And if not, like, how would you juggle with the fact that, like, um, having, like, seven wife in the house and then multiple kids around, like, how would you juggle your life in uh, that environment? But the household is not something that I'm going to spend a lot of time on. So I'm going to be out doing things, building businesses, doing, speaking on stages. So it's mostly the woman that would be, like, juggling with the household? Yeah. Or maybe we'll have a nanny. Who knows? Depends on, like, the dynamic. I mean, if, if my queen, you know, wants to be super business-minded and, and go out there and be out there, I'm going to, like, support her on that, you know? I don't think, like, this or that. I know I'm just not going to, like, not ask, help people all because I have kids. That's That makes no sense to me. Well, because I, have, I can't help the world. That doesn't correct. Make- correct. Because you were also saying how, like, they have their own businesses, and then if they have, if you have multiple kids with them, like, the chances of, like, them expanding their businesses and continuing in their businesses, will it be sure and out if, like, they have to take care of the kids, and then there's, like, multiple kids in the house, like, will they have to take care of the kids of the other wives? Like, how do you think your the harmony in your household will be? When you have multiple wives and kids, it's amazing because we're going to communicate at a high level. Okay, correct. And also, um, for the like the financially, like when like their money is, because you guys are not married, if I'm not mistaken. If uh, maybe you have your, not. sorry, I said maybe we are, maybe we're not. But what's up? Okay, um, just like saying in a sense where, um. Would you guys ever have, like, shared account? Will it be, like, everyone have their own personal account? You have your own? We already have a shared account. So when you do add other women, you will have multiple accounts with them? Mm-hmm. Okay. And will it be all shared for, like, the eighth of you all, or, like... Oh, yeah, we'll have, and... we'll have one account. Sorry? Yes, we'll have a joint account. Like with all seven wives? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. And I, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if that's like personal, but like, do you guys all share one bedroom like in the moment? Yeah, right now we all sleep in the same bed. But eventually would you have a different room with every like different wives? Well, we got we got a, a spare bedroom in there for guests, um, but like to be honest, the next queen I add is probably gonna sleep in the bed with us as well. But do you feel like you will like eventually want to just sleep with all of them um, in your bed? To be honest with you, like I would prefer if we all slept together. Okay, and do you think they like Olivia and Shanice? Do you guys feel like that's something that you guys like would like as well? Absolutely. I like to be warm at night, and I get cold pretty easily. So, like, you guys would, so you guys would, like, you wouldn't mind sleeping with, like, seven different people in a bed? As long as the bed was big enough. Correct. All right, my my questions were mostly that, just, like, trying to understand how you wanted to, like, run your seven wives and, like, kids and household. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We'll do one more. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Hi Lynn. Hey, can you, can you send me the request? Because I don't know how to. I just sent it. Okay. Okay. So my name is Lindsay. I'm from Maryland and I have a couple of questions. Okay. So my first question is when you guys have kids, will all the kids call you like both of y'all mommy, like all the seven wives mommy or just the one who birthed the child mommy? No, they will not be calling everyone mom because that would be really confusing. Um, it would be everyone, um, like the other queens would be called queen and in their name. Oh, okay. Queen Olivia. 
Okay. My next question is when y'all travel, are all seven of the wives coming too? Depends sometimes, not all the time. Okay. My next question is love or money? Pick one. We don't do either or we do both. Okay. And um you mentioned three of the things that you that qualifies for the woman is respect, loyalty, and communication. But what about love? Like no, that's not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need necessarily my woman to love me. I need her to respect me, and I need her to communicate with me, and I need her to be loyal to me, right? Like a woman can love you, but if she's not loyal to you and she like goes out and she cheats on you, like what good is she? So could you be with a woman that doesn't love you? Well, any woman that had a conversation with me is probably going to be in love with me, to be honest with you. So. Okay. So my next question is. So you say you want seven wives, like say if one of them is by what Shanice be in a relationship with that girl as well, or will it just be it's not gonna be forced the way we do that stuff, whatever happens, happens. Like we're not coming in putting on rules. Like uh, that is the last thing we worry about. Like I'm like that is the last thing we worry about. We we do not talk about that. It, it, okay. that it's like irrelevant. Got you. And my next question is, because I'm trying to keep it quick. I know y'all. Mm -hmm. I like about. it. I appreciate it. Yeah. My next question is, when you do get the seven wives, like, are you going to buy a, a van or like a bus? For when yeah. So what the, the two vehicles we're going to have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a Maybach here mm -hmm. with a driver. And then we're going to get a Maybach like van. Like it's going to be a, a Sprinter. We're going to customize it. Um, and then when we get our penthouse in Miami, we're going to get a Rolls Royce. Okay. And my next question is, do y'all have siblings and are y'all close to your siblings or how does that work? I have, I have um, half siblings and I am not that close to them, but I still do keep in communication with them. Okay. What about you, Sean? Um, yeah, I'm close with a couple of my brothers, nothing major. And Shanice? Um, yes, I have siblings and I'm close to most of them. Okay. But I feel like the, the family you create is more important than the one you come from. Because to be honest with you, most of your family is not really going to support your goals and dreams. Got you. And what about friends like outside of you guys' family? Like, do y'all have like close friends, best friends, and stuff like that? Yeah, I do. Yes, yeah, not a whole bunch, but my, sure. my, my friends are like my brotherhood. Um, those are like the closest people. Okay, got you. And my next question is, because I heard you say you want to build a church. I'm a Christian. So I just want to know which religion would you guys be, what religion would it be or would the people be serving you? Like you or God? No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I do not think I'm God. I don't think I'm anything. Um, with that being said, that's a very interesting question. Um, I would probably make it a non denial so would that be non-denomination Christian? Because I'm not, I don't did know what. Did you say I'm sorry? Did you hear what I just said? I just said it would be a non-denomination church. Okay. Um, my next question is, are you still in the military, Sean? And are you vegan? No, I'm not vegan and I'm not in the military. And then... Um, Oh, is there ever a time where you guys, like, one of the girls don't want to go live? Like, are y'all obligated to go live every night, like both of you? I will say there's times where we don't want to go live um, because, you know, like, sometimes we just don't feel like dealing with people's negativity. But the thing is, being successful is not about doing what you want. It's about doing what you need to do. And in order for us to fulfill our mission and help as many people on this planet as possible, we got to go. Because we got 2,800 people here. If we could just help one person change their life, that's all that matters. And all of us have made a committed decision to possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that goes. Oh, go ahead. go ahead. That goes into my next question. Since you guys do like, you know, make money, want to help people, maybe you guys should do a live showing how you make one hundred thousand dollars an hour. Like, I feel like that would be very impactful. When did I say I made one hundred thousand dollars an hour? Or a hundred thousand dollars a month? I don't know. Like, just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we I could. feel like that would help people too. Maybe. 
And my last and final question is when you, like you were homeless sleeping in your car, I guess it's just hard for me to understand because I am Christian. I don't understand how like you wouldn't give the glory to God. Like God changed your life. Like I don't understand how like the praise doesn't go to God, I guess probably because you're not religion, but I would be thinking like God changed my situation and I'm in a better situation. Like all glory would go to him. So, um, yeah. you're you're right. I could do a better job of demonstrating gratitude, but gratitude, gratitude is not words. Gratitude is action. If your husband told you that he loved you but didn't show you, you wouldn't believe it. If I told the Lord I appreciate you but didn't show him that, how can he believe me? I show my gratitude by one being all that I can be and having massive success in life, and not only doing that, teaching other people. So I think that's the highest form of gratitude. That's the highest form of gratitude mm -hmm. by crushing it and being the best that I can be. And then I spend the rest of the day giving myself to you guys. Dude, what, 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 can, what can be more gracious than that? I literally wake up every day and build myself up so that I can bring value to the world. What can I do that's more grateful than that? I teach you guys how to have million dollar businesses. I teach you guys how to have true financial freedom for free and have never asked any of you guys for a dime. What can, be, what can I do to be more grateful than that? So what does that do for God? Like, how do you show your gratitude for God? Like, I don't understand. Like you saying you helping people spend money. Okay. God can change someone's life and help them make money as well. Like, I just don't understand. What is your relationship like, with you God? Empowering, empowering people is doing is you don't think God was small up on that? I feel like empowering people and also bearing the fruits of the spirit for one would... <coughs> God appreciates that. It doesn't really have anything to I'm do a, with a, oh, a, teaching people how to make money. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like be, be, being spiritual and having a relationship with God is the most important thing that a man can do. I also think that religion is the number one thing besides family that holds people back because everybody sits here and says, well, if God wanted me to be successful, then you know, I'd be successful. If God wanted me to be rich, I'd be rich. Here's the thing. You guys sit here and pray for a cake. And God gives you the flour, the eggs, the butter, the sugar, the cream, everything that you need. All you got to do is mix it up and throw it in the oven and put it together and you got a cake. And instead of people mixing it together and putting it in the oven and having a cake, they sit there and pray for a cake. You got everything you need. You got to sit there and pray to God, like, man, one day I want to be rich. Dude, you got everything you need. You got the health, you got the internet, you guys have people that can get you guys information. All you guys gotta gotta do is go and execute. You got all the ingredients right there. All you gotta do is put in a little bit of work. It may get hot in the kitchen, you may sweat a little bit, it may be a little bit uncomfortable. You keep pushing through, eyes on the prize, next thing you know you got a cake. So you tell me which one is more grateful. The guy that's putting together all the resources that God provided him and being making the best cake he can, or the person that's praying for the cake. Honestly, the cake, the money, the all of that don't matter to me if I don't have God at the center. Because at the end of the day, when I leave this earth, I'm leaving all of that behind. So you can leave all that behind. I'm gonna set up a trust that's gonna take care of the next twenty generations. Because all you gotta when they go, all you gotta do is set up a trust. So you can do that, and I'm gonna build schools all over. And I'm going to go to Africa and I'm going to build schools and I'm going to build communities and I'm going to do so much good in the world. So you can worry about you and be like, I'm, you can't take none of the money with you. You can do that. Nobody, don't, There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to impact people. I am going to positively impact as many people on this planet as I can. And I'm never going to stop no matter what. The haters not going to stop me. The government's not going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me. I'm going to positively impact as many people as I can on this planet. That's it. Until the air leaves from my lungs. All right, to each his own. I yeah. I do things for the Lord and the kingdom. So what have you done for the Lord? I worship. I bear the fruits of the spirit. I try to help people. What that, is that what is that done? What is that? What actually has that done besides make you feel good? Bring the light to people's darkness. Right, and what? How, how has that impacted them positively? Because for me, I don't want people to come to me and be like, "Hey, man, I'm down on my luck." And the only thing I can do is hand them a twenty dollar bill and say, "Man, keep your head up and say a prayer." I want to be like, "Listen, man, I own this business, this business, and this business. I'm gonna get you a six figure uh, job. I'm gonna put you in an apartment complex, take care of your family." 
So it doesn't because, do because it. that's that is a true blessing to somebody allowing some put raising somebody's level of awareness and putting them in a position to take care of their family is the best thing you can do. And I sit up here and teach like, you to take care of your that's, family. That's your prerogative, but I feel like all of that without God's glory is not going to help them. Like you, the richest people still be depressed. The richest. Well, people I just I just said that we want to build a church. We but, literally, you, you said, but what church are you like? I don't know. Why does it matter which church? As long as they're praising to a higher power, why does it matter what church it is? Because that's leading people. See, but see, here's the thing. I'm literally saying that I want to build a church and you still got a problem with it. Because I don't know who would God y'all praising, what God y'all serving. See, that's so, the thing, bro. That, that um, All of that stuff does not matter, bro. As long as you have some type of the humility to understand that there's a higher power, which I do. I don't care if you call it God. A la pineapple juice, whatever you call it, as long as you know that there's a higher power and it pushes you to be a better person, that's all that matters. So we're going to have a non-denomination church where we literally teach people how to be their greatest self. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like we're still not practicing gratitude, I don't know what to tell you. Man. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and go. I pray you encounter God's true glory and really have an encounter with him because, yeah, that's that's all. Okay, I hope you reach your potential. And I will, because God bake is the cake. Bake the cake. God gave you all the ingredients. Yeah, he did. Bake the cake. Bake the cake. How do I get off here? All right, man. We'll see you guys, man. I love you guys so much. Uh, for those of you guys that have more room in your heart, go ahead and... Oh, is that it? Where's the community? Oh, oh yeah, no. right here. Check the community. We want to send you guys some positive messages, man. We want to really help you guys. We appreciate you guys. Being awesome. Somebody said do one more. Should we do one more, y'all? Should we do one more? Y'all want to do yeah, one more? Do one more for the good time. No. No. No, no, no. We can't do one more. You guys got to text the community. If you're sitting here, you're watching, you got a 700 credit score, and you want us a free game, we want to teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000. DM your boy on Instagram. Free game. Sean underscore Taylor Square Adams. That's my only one. DM me free game. Teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month. To me, I consider that the lowest work. I'm literally putting you guys up on game. You guys go and do this deal, it'll make you a millionaire in, in literally three years. Another thing, any guy watching this, you want to have massive success, you don't want to just make ten to 15000 a month. You want to have massive success, you don't want to make ten to fifteen k a week. You got a 700 post credit score, DM me mentor on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, okay? Let's get it, man. We appreciate you guys. I love you guys literally so much for being here. We'll see you guys. Yeah.